The document, Evidence for a Connection Between Coronavirus Disease-19 and Exposure to Radiofrequency Radiation from Wireless Communications Including 5G, investigates the potential environmental factor of ambient radiofrequency radiation RFR, from wireless communication systems, including microwaves and millimeter waves in the COVID-19 era. It suggests that RFR may contribute to COVID-19 severity by affecting blood morphology, impairing microcirculation, amplifying immune system dysfunction, increasing oxidative stress and organ damage, and facilitating viral entry and inflammation through increased intracellular calcium levels. The authors recommend reducing exposure to RFR, especially for those infected with SARS-CoV-2, until further research clarifies the systemic health effects of chronic RFR exposure. The advent of 5G technology and increased reliance on wireless devices have raised concerns about the potential health impacts of radiofrequency radiation RFR. The COVID-19 pandemic has added a new dimension to these concerns, with emerging evidence suggesting that RFR exposure might interact with viral infections, potentially exacerbating health effects by combining the bio-effects of both exposures. Understanding RFR and its biological effects RFR, emitted by wireless communication devices, has been a topic of research for its potential biological impacts. While the thermal effects of RFR are well documented, there is growing interest in its non-thermal effects including the production of reactive oxygen species ROS, and its implications for oxidative stress. RFR, ROS, and COVID-19. COVID-19 has been shown to induce oxidative stress, contributing to the severity of symptoms and complications. The intersection of increased RFR exposure and COVID-19 might amplify oxidative stress, posing additional health risks. This report will delve into the mechanisms by which RFR and COVID-19 could synergistically impact health, focusing on the role of ROS. Review of current research will summarize key findings from recent studies that investigate the relationship between RFR exposure, ROS production, and COVID-19. This includes analysis of the potential for RFR to exacerbate COVID-19 symptoms and recovery processes through increased oxidative stress. Discussion on health and safety guidelines. The report will critically assess current health and safety guidelines for RFR exposure in light of the potential combined effects with COVID-19. It will explore whether existing standards adequately address the risks, especially considering the unique challenges posed by the pandemic. Recommendations for public health policy. Based on the review of scientific evidence, we will propose recommendations for public health policy. This includes suggestions for updated guidelines on RFR exposure, public awareness, and further research to better understand the potential health impacts of RFR in the context of COVID-19.